whatever. Hello and welcome to another episode of Sports and Songs podcast. Uh, we're on season five, episode number 18. Tonight's the songs edition. Andy, how are you? I'm good. Good. How about yourself? Good. It's it's March 7th, 2024. And tonight's show, Andy, we're completing a, a series, a six-part series on the Johnny Cash American Recordings yep. albums. We're doing them in order. Tonight's the last one. This is album six. So what I'll do is bring it up here. We'll talk about it um, and um, chat about Mr. Johnny Cash here, about how how well these albums did in sales and whatnot. Um, yes. J.R. Cash, yes. J.R. Uh, Cash. There we go. There we go. This one in the series, Ain't No Grave. Now, like I said last week, the last two were released after he had passed away. Um, so... This Ain't No Grave, kind of a fitting title for that one. Interesting. And, um, again, not his last album. During these six, they did release other greatest hits and other compilation albums in between. These, if you look up his Wikipedia or his albums release things, there is other albums in these six. We're just talking about the series. Ain't No Grave. is an album by Johnny Cash released after he'd passed away in February on February 23rd, 2010. Um, on American Recordings and Lost Highway Recordings. Its release was three days before Cash's 78th birthday. The tracks were recorded during the same sessions as American 5, The 100 Highways, in 2006, which took place during the final months of Cash's life. The album debuted at number three on the U.S. Billboard 200 charts, selling 54,000 copies the first week. Upon its release, American 6, Ain't No Grave, received generally positive reviews from music critics, which we'll hear more about later. Um, American Six received generally positive reviews from music critics. Um, uh, what was it? The album received an average score of 78 based on 19 reviews. So it was getting all different kind of hits all over the place. Um, Mississippi jo John Hart's Last Sessions in 72, Bob Dylan's, Time Out of Mind, 1997, Warren Zavon's The Wind, 2003, and Neil Young's Prairie Wind, 2005. George Cott of the Chicago Tribune said that death remains a big subject on album six. Um, the Daily Telegraph, Andrew Perry, dubbed Cash's final life-affirming masterpiece. So uh, a lot of good ones. This one is considered Americana, Country, and Gospel. Johnny hit that gospel thing for a while there, and uh, some of these songs are on there with that, too. Um, let's see. Let's go to the, the mighty track listings here. Ain't No Grave, Gonna Hold This Boy Down. Claude Eli version, uh, was the writer on that one. Redemption Day, written by Cheryl Crow. For the Good Times, written by Chris Christopherson. First Corinthians 1555, written by Johnny Cash. Guessing that would be one of the gospel version songs. Yes. Can't help but wonder where I've where I'm bound by Tom Paxton. Satisfied Mind by Red Hayes and Jack Rhodes. I Don't Hurt Anymore by Dan by Don Robertson, Walter E. Rollins. Cool Water by Bob Nolan. Last night I had the strangest dream by Ed McCurry. So there's your songs. Nine songs on this one only. Um, again, getting towards the end of the line there for Johnny. No pun intended. Um, Johnny Cash was on there. Not a, a big band of superstar help on this one like the others before. Others before, he always had other artists on there. Not so much on this one. It was just him and his band, so that was kind of cool. Uh, reached number three on the U.S. Billboard charts. Number two on the top country album charts for Billboard. Um, Australian albums, number one. Uh, number four in Canada, two for the Dutch, three for the Germans and the Norwegians, the Swedes with five, and UK nine. So you kind of got some cross. The Italians, 75. What do they know? Idiots. Yes. Um, they're not that smart. Um, I saw some different reviews on different pages. They asked people, hey, what was of the six albums, what were your favorite six? This one came in last or next to last at all but one. And that one guy, he had it fourth out of six. Hmm. Um, 
but that was their personal reviews. But you look at album sales. Of Johnny Cash's top 10 selling albums, all six of these made the top 10. And he had okay. a career. Really? Okay. Interesting. Crew go back to the 50s. All six of these made the top 10. Because he made, no. you know, like 82 albums. Right. Wow. Um, the number 10 most popular album was the fourth one, American. Or a man came around. That was his, his fourth album was number 10 overall. Number nine was Johnny Cash. With his hot and blue and blue guitar released in 1957. Number eight was the third release, Solitary Man. Number seven was his At San Quentin album released in 1969. Number six was the first on American Recordings. Number five was The Fabulous Johnny Cash released in 1958. Four was the second album, Unchained. His third biggest selling album was The Hundred Highways and the second most popular one was this one. Not popular sales-wise, this one. And, of course, number one is the False Imprisonment album from 1968. Okay. Uh, two and three were both the ones after he'd passed. Um, yeah, they did a lot of greatest hits. I don't think this chart listed their greatest hits ones because they don't really count, in my opinion, as album sales. When you're releasing your top ten albums that sold, yeah, you want your originals. Now, you could argue me that because a lot of these were recovered songs, but they were newly recorded. Yep. So, so this one was um, second all time. Yep. And in sales. Maybe the last six weeks doing this, boy, said I wanted to do this. April 26th, the Chanhassen Dinner Theater, I will be going to see me and the bride are going to see Church of Cash. Oh, that's right. That's coming up. A local guy we'll have to um, do a review on that for sure. Yes, there will be a full review on that. Um, gentlemen, he, he does a lot of stuff around here local. I know he's got other places besides Minnesota, but um, kind of a big deal around here. Always wanted to see him. Obviously, he must do a good job if he's been around for a while. So, um, there will be a review coming up after that early May on that show. Um, might even review the dinner part of the dinner theater. We don't know. Yes, perhaps. We'll see. Dinner and drinks, maybe. Two episode and a review episode. Two, I can get two episodes out of it. Yes. Will Connie pay me for two episodes if I do Dinner, that? drinks, and a, and a concert review. Three. Yeah, if I do three shows, will she pay me for three shows? You'll probably be paid the same as a normal show. This is one show? Uh, you yeah. know then. Salary Look, probably is. Usually will get paid for three shows. I get paid for one. Wow. Whatever. So, so that's good. You know, this, this, this was a good learning experience for me, these six albums. Good stuff. Uh, very interesting. If you get a chance to listen to them, uh, very good. It's four record, six recorded before he died. Four record, uh, released before he died. Two released after. Now, Andy, yeah. I've got some musical notes here for us. All right, fire away. Some what I like to call interesting local news local music band here we go hairball july 3rd in duluth now this is part of that bayfront festival yes um not trip fest that's something different yes very you know the trip fest they're known for up their duluth for outdoor music this is also the bayfront festival park in duluth uh different thing july 4th weekend it's going to be hairball and should be a good show once again always by these guys. Now, noise pollution. What's your thoughts on this ACDC tribute? I've heard so I haven't heard them personally myself. I've heard good things about them. Um, Treasure Island, what they do is they give you a free concert. So I've, a lot of other bands we've talked about are playing up there too for free concerts. Um, yeah, sure it can't go wrong for a free show. Seven o'clock. June 29th on a Saturday night at the casino, St. Croix Casino. You know, it's, it would be, if you're wondering what these guys are like, a good chance to check them out for free. Uh, and and like we've said before, you get free tickets to a concert or a ball game, then treat yourself to the room and spend the night. That That's what the casino's hoping you're going to do. You're going to still drop a yeah. hundred bucks one way or the other. <clears throat> Since you're not eat spending a, on a ticket, restaurant. get a couple of cocktails and spend the night. What the hell? That would be good to see. ACDC always 
Good. Now, Matt Alice. That's your friend. Saw them. We interviewed them on the yep. show. They're going to Bogarts, March 22nd coming up. Um, once again, it's a tribute both to oh, Alice in Chains Alice. and Mad Season. The band is called Mad Alice. Very good. Very good. I'm not Highly the Bogarts good. yet. That's kind of up my things to do this summer. One night, go down there. Yes, that's Apple Valley. Should be um, should be good. Now check this out. This is kind of interesting too. So the Devil's Rejects is a tribute to Rob Zombie, and then Ten Thousand Days is a tribute to Tool. These guys are both playing yep. Saturday, June fifteenth. And Menace will be there. And well. Menace, yes, yes. So they're a pretty good group. Nice guys there. Gates open up, <clears throat> and so this is this is summer Summerfest. Where is this one at? It's Wisconsin, I believe. Wisconsin. So outdoor concert. I don't think you could go wrong with these, seeing these three bands. You know, Devil's Rejects. I wanted. I, I'm a zombie guy. I like Rob Zombie. Um, I'm kind of curious of how they pull it off. I'm very interested in seeing them. That would be interesting. Do a, if you see the band, do a review because I'm interested also. Now, just announced Skillet, Skillet Music. Yes. In ten years, uh, the reason I put this in yellow. Is tickets go on sale tomorrow, Friday, tomorrow, 10 a.m. This is at Mystic Lake Casino Hotel. This band brought to you by 93X, these two bands. So this should also be good. Yeah. I'm not familiar with either one. Are you? Uh, a little bit with Skillet. Okay. Um, the the old my oldest boy got me into them a little bit. So uh it's kind of his fault. But um, yeah, they're not bad. And it's yeah. two guys, two gals. Yes. Good location there at Mystic Lake Casino Hotel at the casino. There at the at the at the main stage. Now, I saw this on the uh, on the Facebook. I decided to post it here. A good one. This is good. You know, so Chaska hosts every year River City Days. This year will be the July twenty sixth through the twenty eighth. That's always downtown. Very good bands. Um, and they have beer tents, food trucks, a kid zone, bags, tournaments, parade. Everything goes on here. But they're, the main shows are going to be Sugar Buzz and Good for Gary. And, Andy, we just saw Sugar Buzz, right? Yes. And I've heard things about Good for Gary. I've heard, no pun again, good things about Good for Gary. Now, what hat are you wearing? I'm wearing my Sugar Buzz sun hat that we picked up on the weekend. Yes. If you and saw the so, social media pages, we were there. Good time was had. Good time was had. It's good um, stuff. Sugar Buzz, good. They do draw a crowd. It's fun, easy listening to music. Good, uh, good variety. Yeah, and uh, the bowl, you can't go wrong going down to the bowl, first of all. The good seats there, good times there. Staff is wonderful. Band was wonderful. Everything. The, the crowd was all decent. I mean, it was almost like a dream night in a way. Nothing got out of hand. It was, it was good times. All of a sudden, oh, they take a break. That had been an hour and a half already. Holy cow, it didn't feel like it, you know. And then they come back on, and next thing you know, it's time to go home, you know. Yeah, they do uh, They do an hour and a half, two sets, a to total of three hours. Lots of music they play. Yeah, now, it's a good group. They're going to be there at River City Days. Now, here's the the pre, the pre uh, the uh, introductory bands. Matt, yeah, Matt yeah, Dallas. Hat like the River City Days. Yes, Matt McAllister and Holly Heller Heller Helderson uh, Helderson, and they're the opening for band for Sugar Buzz, and then for Good for Gary, the openers are Sawyer's Sawyer. Dream and Becky Ray Dalton down the street Excuse here. Car Eastern Carver County. We really focus on Western Carver, Andy. Yes. But this would be something. The other side of the river, the, the highway. End of July. The other end of 41. Now, speaking of Bogarts. Yes, this would be a great show. This is, and this is two shows. It's a Friday and a Saturday. Dustin Bones yep, is yep. your is your um, 80s tribute there, uh, Guns N' Roses. And then Crown Jewels, 70s and 80s. And so that's the Queen tribute. Yep. And Dustin Bones, friends of the program. We've had and them. Yeah. On, and uh, that should be very good. Now, also Bogarts. Doing a lot of music there in Apple Valley. They're kind of like the Shockby Bowl. They have the same types of uh, concerts and shows. Mm -hmm. Now, 
Queen of the Reich. Yes. We've interviewed uh, them. Here's their upcoming shows starting March 15th at the Doghouse with Motley Six. Motley Six, yes. We've had them on too. And then Jerseys, uh, two minutes to Maiden. That should be interesting. Nordic Brew Pub. This is the one I'd like to see, Andy. May 4th and One for All. That's the Metallica tribute band that's yes. new. It's getting a lot of attention. Uh, Queen of the Reich is playing up there with Metallica on May 4th. And then they're playing with Hellion, another band we want to see in Route 47 and Anoka May 10th. And then uh, playing May 31st in Wisconsin. So those guys are always good. Now, the lead singer for Queen of the Reich is our friend Beth. Yes. Also the lead singer of Sugar Buzz. Sugar, Sugar Buzz. Now, check this out. Here's the one that just got announced uh, that May 31st. It's Grand Cas it's a St. Croix Casino with Hellion May 31st. Now, this is also 7 p.m. Keyword here, free. Free show at yep. the casino. Gotta love it. Now, speaking of our friend Beth. There they are. Friends of the show here, Andy. Uh, this was Sugar Buzz post, post show. Andy and I are there with the lead singer, uh, the lovely Beth. Uh, very good vocalist. Uh, we've we've interviewed her before, and uh, first time seeing them in concert live. Very good, very good show. <coughs> very talented. So that is uh, that's what I've got for for local. That's what we got local music, Andy. You know that's the local scene here between tri tribal, uh, tribute bands and original music, and just good cover bands. Yeah. Cover bands. It's just a. We're lucky to be here where we are because a uh, ton of options. Yes. And, you know, we cover all the options here, too. Your Sugar Buzz plays a lot of uh, 80s and 90s, some 70s. Yes. Um, we got the cover bands like Dustin Bones and Hellion that just are certain groups. Hairball. And even we talked about, you know, Church of Cash I'm going to. We did Johnny Cash albums last six weeks. So it's not just all the rock and roll, but those who influenced the rock and roll, like a Johnny Cash. It's true. Lucky to have it. Well, join us next week, folks. Uh, next uh, Thursday here, we'll be having our next show with a new topic. But have a good week, everyone. Happy trails. See ya.